this is Amazon Park. Um, I just paid a visit to the Amazon Park estate of Guachu. So here, yeah, this estate is totally sold out. Hello guys, uh, this is Dutch Boom Bono. I'm a real estate entrepreneur. Of course, I want to give us a, a little tip on real estate investment and why you should actually focus on land investment. Why land investment is actually good for you, most especially this 2023. If if you can actually make it a priority to actually start real estate investment or to actually pick an interest with land investment, this practice has actually made a lot of millionaires in a short time. Make it a priority this year. There are a lot of benefits investing in land, investing in real estate. Of course, land is there. It doesn't move. It's an immovable asset. Well, what is an asset? Asset is something that actually puts money in your account. A liability is something that takes away. So when we talk about land, land is an asset. You rather put money in your account than take away money from your account or from your pocket. So, and again, when we talk about, you look at the high rate of inflation in the country today, Found out that land doesn't depreciate in value. It rather do what appreciate in value. So when we encourage you to invest in land, there are some of the reasons, there are some of the benefits that are that are accompanying with it. Investing in land, the land you bought for five hundred thousand can go back to three hundred thousand. It rather goes to probably eight hundred, one million, five million. It keeps it keeps going up. So that's what we encourage. And in this case, it, it forms hedge over inflation but every other form of in investment could be affected by inflation if you're into importation and the rest of it of course the dollar rate dollar to naira rate is actually being affected so it affects the goods and services which you're rendering so that's what we talk about real estate and it, it is a generational asset a land you bought for 500,000 tomorrow your children children Will benefit from that from a good decision you made today so it's a generational asset it doesn't have time limit it doesn't expire land doesn't expire so number one it forms hedge over inflation it can be attacked by inflation number two is a generational asset is a store of value number three is a store of value there are a lot of people that buy land today when they, I have a lot of people that actually call me. Okay, I have so so amount. I want to put it in land. I don't know what to use it for. I don't want to use it for, to buy a car. I don't want to use it for, to buy another thing, which are some of the liabilities we are talking about. But they rather want to invest in land because it stores the value of that amount of that of fiat currency. But if you decide to put it somewhere else, that money loses the value. But to protect the value of your money. Of your cash you do what you bury it in land you bury it in land so we've talked about uh, the hedge over inflation we've talked about generational wealth starting early so you don't wait until you have all the money before you can actually start investing in land 